going to Ikea in Korea for the first time, right? Is yeah, first time? time at least. Right, so this Ikea is located in Busan. We took the subway all the way here and then after the subway we had to take about a 15 minute taxi ride so it's not super easy to get here. But now that we're here, we are so excited. We're just gonna walk around and show you guys everything this place has to offer. There's also way more than just Ikea here. I feel like most of the time at Ikea, it's just Ikea, right? Yeah, right. But here, there's like tons of malls around us. It's also a beautiful day. So yeah, without further ado, are you ready yes, to I'm go excited. into the Wonderland? All right, let's go. Now before we get started with the vlog, I wanted to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of classes ranging from entrepreneurship, lifestyle, productivity, and more. They have classes to fit both your schedule and skill level, and I found that their classes can be a great way to help manage stress and feel connected to one another. As I'm sure you guys can imagine, after shopping around Ikea, I had the sudden urge to do some redecorating around my house. So recently, I've been exploring Emily Henderson's style your space class which gives creative tips and techniques for interior design so if you're looking for a creative challenge the first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity it's been a while since I've been to Ikea too oh god it's been years because when I decided to move to Korea I was like why would I need to go to Ikea because I actually when I was in college there was an Ikea right next to my house so Ikea was always kind of like a thing that I could have easy access to. It was so far away from me. It was right. like miles away right. right now. Right. We're hungry. So of course you cannot go to Ikea and not eat, right? They're known for their Swedish meatballs, I think, but they have so much more than just that. This place is definitely packed, so let's see if we can find a table oh and eat. I want to say this is like the most amount of people I've been around in this one is the space. most amount of people I've seen really in months since we're in They have like different workers here that are like telling you where to go within the food court. <laughs> It almost seems unsafe by how many people are here. A little bit. They have these circles on the ground for social distancing, so you should stay this amount of distance, but I don't really think anyone's following the rules no. here. Yeah. All right, Ollie. Are we getting green tea cake? We're getting every single thing. Are we really? Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Wow! I love this so much right now. Oh, me too. Okay. Um, so what are we starting with? Our main, main course? I'm gonna start with my two servings of veggie people. <laughs> so the first thing I'm eating is dunkas, which is a pork cutlet dish. This is super popular in Korea. It's cheap. How much was yours? Like five. Mm. Chicken mukbang. How are your balls? <laughs> I 
I do love a good juicy. Oh, wow. Someone just called me the YouTube girl. <laughs> <laughs> she was on the phone and she was like, yeah, we're sitting near the YouTube, the YouTube girl. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we bought every pudding. If this is we not bought every, child, every single one they had. up our eating. Ollie is finishing the dessert right now. I'm so full. All right, I will keep you guys updated on our IKEA adventure. No guys, there's so many people here. Quite insane. A little intimidating. Seoul Metro Station style right here. Ooh. No one does anything. <laughs> Yo, if they had this in America, someone would be like walking out wearing these. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can pick up the belts. Ties, pick these up. Sunglass cases. When I was a kid and my family would come to Ikea, I was allowed to pick out one thing from this area and I would walk around with it the whole time. Alright, we made it to the next floor. I don't know what this is. This is just like small like home appliance, like little oh. things. I like that palm. Me too actually. Love I want one of these to put in my blanket. Yeah, I need one for my freaking laundry. My favorite part of Ikea. All right, so here is the main warehouse where you pick up all your stuff, but we're not getting anything, so we're just gonna stroll through here. Okay, so we are down here at the exit where they have like the last minute ice cream and hot dogs. Unfortunately, they don't have veggie dogs, and Ollie's obviously a vegetarian, so that's a shame. But on the plus side, now we can go to a cafe and tell you all about our Ikea experience. Yes, we're gonna go to a cafe now, and we'll sit down and we'll tell you everything. A really nice cafe, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good coffee. Beautiful really nice ambiance. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to sit down and do a little review of our day at IKEA. Before we do this review, it is solely based on our experience. Yeah. We came on a Saturday. It's also a holiday. Today. It is. Yeah, it is a holiday. I thought it would be empty because it is a holiday. We were wrong. It was far 
from empty. Really busy. Yeah, like so busy that like you almost can't even like enjoy. I could barely see anything. And you feel like, okay, I gotta keep moving to get out of everyone's way. Honestly, it was uncomfortable, Slightly. to be honest. I really liked looking at everything. I don't have a problem with being by around a ton of people, but the most comfortable I felt was when we were sitting down eating. Besides all of the people, what did you think of the actual Ikea? I do feel like it, it was very catered towards a Korean audience. They had things like comforters, which they don't have in the Ikea in, okay. in England. They had um, lots of little things that would be good for a Korean house that we wouldn't use them in England. Like they had um, you know, the mats, yeah. they had fold out mats uh, and they had those. So it was very, very much tailored towards a Korean audience, which I thought was really interesting. I will say it was pretty freaking similar to my Ikea from Charlotte. Okay. Yeah, I mean everything, like the ordering, the layout, all the stuff. It was significantly smaller than the one in England. Mm. I mean really? significantly smaller. It was about the same size as mine in Charlotte. Mine in Charlotte was very big. So, yeah. It is interesting. One I know in Mass. It's interesting to compare. If you're gonna go in Korea, go on like a, a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Or just don't go on a weekend. Right? No. Don't go on weekends. Yeah, don't go on weekends. I still enjoy it. Yeah, totally, yeah. Alright guys, so with that being said, that is going to sum up our day at Ikea. We are just gonna chill at this cafe and then head back and see our pups in a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Ollie's channel. I will have it linked below. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments. Have you ever been to Ikea? Does this Ikea, did it look different from your Ikea? Let what country's Ikea pray. too? Where are you from? What Ikea have you been to? I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.